What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and the rumors continue to swirl about the drama surrounding Star Wars The Mandalorian and Pedro Pascal's potential departure from the show. The narrative continues to change as more people come forward and say what their sources have told them. And it tells a story which, although there are differences, there are a lot of similarities, specifically about Pedro Pascal and the clash that he had with Jon Favreau on the set of The Mandalorian. Now, what does this mean? What am I talking about? A quick, a quick update, a quick recap of this story that came out several days ago, almost a week ago at this point, I think. And it first came to us from Grace Randolph. Now, there's a lot of people who don't take anything Grace Randolph says and throw it out the window. She has been wrong about things in the past. She has also been 100% right on things in the past. And to be honest, that's kind of way the scooping game is a lot of the time. But you can see from Bounty Into Comics, rumor. Pedro Pascal quit filming The Mandalorian Season 2 halfway through production. And like I said, it's about a week ago that these rumors really started to fly. And one thing just to note. Before we talk about anything else, if these rumors had been flying around me and I was uh, someone who was part of the Mandalorian production team or I was the actor that the rumors are about themselves, if it was not true, I would come out there and debunk it pretty quickly if it was me with a very solid statement. No, this is garbage. I am the Mandalorian, right? That's, that's kind of what I would do, but that's just the way I approach things. I'm not Pedro Pascal, so take that with a grain of salt. Now, like I said, it does come to us from Grace Randolph herself, and it ties in with the fact that Jon Favreau said that this story, this season, is going to focus on different characters. It was kind of a shock to a lot of people why they said that. This is what Grace Randolph says, while filming season two, Pedro Pascal really wanted to have some scenes with his helmet off. The Mandalorian creative team wouldn't budge on this. So Pedro Pascal, from what I've heard from two sources now, was frustrated about this and also pretty darn uncomfortable in the Mando suit on set. So he became difficult. And the final straw, even though he was difficult around set, the final straw was that he went to Lucasfilm, from what I've heard from my sources, to try to get them to intervene on his behalf. So he went above their head, above Jon Favreau's head, to try to get them to change it, to try to get them to intervene on his behalf. And evidently, Jon Favreau was having none of this. As you can go down, uh, you see Randolph then details Pascal was asked to leave halfway through filming. So when Pedro Pascal went to Lucasfilm, the Mando team was like, you know what? You should just go. And Pedro Pascal did. And that happened halfway through filming. Then she says, now, as I've said, I heard the breakup was pretty bad with both sides upset. Now, this is the rumor that got everyone talking. And as other people reached out to their sources... They heard similar things, specifically that the season would indeed start to focus on different characters besides the Mandalorian, and also that there was definitely some friction between Favreau and Pedro Pascal. Now, I have heard as well from people that these rumors are at least rooted in truth, that there definitely was a big controversy, a bunch of contentiousness between Favreau and Pedro Pascal, and he did walk off. Now, what they can't say is whether any of that was fixed, whether they got him to come back, whether he agreed to come back, but that definitely there was a rift there that opened up. Now, something else that came out today or yesterday was this. Pedro Pascal out as the Mandalorian voice acting only. Again, this is a rumor from Doomcock, so definitely do take it with a grain of salt. I don't feel like this story lines up as well as the Grace Randolph one does. What he's saying is that uh, he didn't go to Lucasfilm. What Doomcock says, his sources are saying, is that no, they didn't go to Lucasfilm. He went to George Lucas. That Pedro Pascal tried to talk to George Lucas, who was visiting the set of Mandalorian, to try to convince Favreau and Filoni to let him take his helmet off. I, I just don't believe that this is true. It doesn't make any sense to me. But at the end, what he does say, what he does say at the end is that he will be in season three of The Mandalorian as a voice actor only. They will not have him doing anything in the suit. That is what Doomcock has said. So please take it with an enormous grain of salt. Now, there are some pictures that are floating out around right now that people are talking about. And I wanted to dig into these because I think it's important. You have Noah Outlaw here. You know, one of the one of the scoopers. You've got, got insider Lucasfilm sources, right? Th these shill scoopers. That's what they are. Um, he posts this. Sure does look like Pedro hates working on The Mandalorian. As if this is some kind of BTFO. And people in his comments agree. Oh, I can't believe that anyone believed those rumors. Look, he's working on The Mandalorian right now. 
And let's look at these. Now, where did this come from? Pedro Pascal posted it on Instagram. You can see right here. Now, this says chin up Ludwig Gordonson and eyes open. Bravo, bravis, bravissimo to you both. This is after The Mandalorian won an Emmy for the music composition, the score, all of that stuff. And he posts this picture with him, Ludwig, under a helmet. I don't want to say it's the Mandalorian's helmet yet. I want to get into this and what this helmet may mean, actually. And John Favreau. Now, there's a couple pictures here. Uh, also, them at the Rise of Skywalker premiere. Um, here's some music. I don't want to listen to that. But then also Pedro pretending to conduct the orchestra under the helmet, right? So uh, he's having a ton of fun, right? He's smiling. There couldn't be anyone that has any problems. When do you think this was taken? When do you think this was taken? Because I can tell you, look at these people. There is no social distancing. There's not a mask to be seen. This is not some recent photo. And in fact, when you go to Ludwig Gorenson's post, this is from just a couple days ago. He has a mask, right? He has a mask as he's finishing up the work on season two of The Mandalorian. This is not a current picture. And in fact, based on some of the things I heard, and I was tuned into Josh from Denim Nerds, his pod or his live stream that he did earlier this morning, he was talking about some similar things, and his audience noticed the same thing that I did, that there's no social distancing going on. Evidently, this picture is from December of 2019. That's how long ago this was. So he may be trying to set a narrative here without strictly denying the fact that these rumors are not true, but he's doing it with photos that are months and months and months old this is from last year this is not some btfo to these rumors noah outlaw right i know you think it is i know a bunch of your stupid followers think it is as well the only thing that comes close the only thing we have heard from lucasfilm in any way shape or form i want to show this comes from F phil stozak from the Lucasfilm Art Department's The Mandalorian Season 2 set visit in mid-February, the last of many months of shooting. Poked around the incredible star stagecraft LED volume where I got to give the titular Mando himself, Pedro Pascal, a hey there on the way out. This is the only thing we've heard from anyone in a position at Lucasfilm that has been trying to say they deny these rumors. Now, he's simply saying that Pedro Pascal was on set in mid-February when this happened. Now, we have heard rumors that that wasn't the last time that shooting ended, that it was the initial season wrap, but there may be a lot of reshoots that happen as well. So this is the only thing we have from Lucasfilm that is some sort of denial or some sort of pushback for these rumors that Pedro Pascal is gone as the Mandalorian. Like I said, you can, you can point to these pictures if you want, but you should be intellectually honest and tell us when these are from. They are not from the other day, and you're a fucking liar if you're trying to tell me otherwise. Now, I did want to talk a little bit about this helmet. Now, this helmet here, uh, a lot of people are saying, wow, there's a bullet in that helmet. Does that mean that that's going to be something that happens to the Mandalorian? Uh, my first instinct was this is probably not the Mandalorian's helmet. My first instinct that it's somebody else's helmet helmet specifically Boba Fett's now why do I say that because if you remember if you've watched Star Wars you may have noticed that there is an enormous dent in Boba Fett's helmet in that exact same position so to me this looks like an uh, maybe an unfinished Boba Fett helmet that they are working on maybe because we have heard that in season two of the Mandalorian that Boba Fett will be there these rumors are confirmed to Morrison's agent confirmed it so I think that this may be Boba Fett's helmet. Otherwise, you have a the exact same dent in the exact same place happening to Din Djarin, to Pedro Pascal's The Mandalorian. That, to me, I, I guess it could be. That would be extremely like coincidental, or maybe they do it on purpose. I don't know. But bottom line, that's what I think this is from. That's my opinion. But I have heard some people talking about that. I wanted to clear it up a little. But I, I don't know. I don't know if I believe any of these rumors i i do know that everyone i have heard from everyone i've heard from and so many people uh said they reached out to their sources and they're not happy that this got out to me that probably means that they did not want this to leak that maybe they have resolved some of their issues they didn't want anyone to hear about this big split that happened and now potentially that going forward they will be working together but they're kind of just trying to ignore all this nonsense because they don't want people to know about the drama going on behind the scenes that pedro was being a diva about this 
That's just my gut feeling on all of this at the time, piecing together all of these other people's sources and what they're saying. But I guess we'll know soon enough. And if in season two of The Mandalorian, if we see randomly episodes that just start to focus not on The Mandalorian at all, that tells me that these rumors were true, that Pedro was gone at least for a while, that they weren't sure the, the direction the show was going to take when he left at least for that period of time. But we'll see in season two. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.